is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and the game I'm going to break down and predict for you is the game on Saturday between the LSU Tigers and the Tennessee Volunteers. Before I break down and predict this game, just want to remind everyone, go to the website, ParamountSports.com. We've now had 19 straight winning seasons, and just for signing in, we'll email you a free selection each and every week. Now, on to the game on Saturday. The LSU Tigers are laying 15 points against Tennessee. This game is being played in Knoxville. Now, last year's game, everything seemed to go right for Tennessee. They had a 4-0 to zero turnover advantage, yet they were still unable to beat LSU. Why? Because they only put up 217 total yards. This year, they come into the game with even more problems. They're without their star quarterback, Bray. They're Real good running back, Poole, he's a game-time decision with a hamstring injury. I doubt he's going to be able to go. So how are they going to be able to run the ball against LSU and then pass it without Bray? I just don't see it. Sims is a capable backup, but he's not the type quarterback you want facing maybe one of the best defenses in the country in the LSU Tigers. Tennessee has only rushed this year for two Point five yards per carry. Their defense is allowing at least 111 rushing yards this year in every single game, and that's what LSU does. They run the ball, they pound it right down your throat, and then once they've softened you up, then they throw the ball for easy touchdowns. In those games where they've given up at least 111 yards in each game, two of those teams were Buffalo and Montana. This can only be an LSU Tiger call here. LSU Tigers roll again 37 to 14 over Tennessee. You want to get involved with Paramount Sports? ParamountSports.com or call us at the office 800 400 9741.